Hello. We got a little uh, C4 action. I'm gonna be uh, talking about some else. Yes, teams. This one's gonna go fast. I'm kind of behind on my uh, my order, so. So, uh, I'm not behind in my order, but I might not make it, but this one's going to help a lot because I'm doing the three EU LCS teams that I don't really know much about. And they are uh, G2, Splice, and Elements. Splice was formerly Dignitas EU. I'm going to start with G2. So G2 is in the challenger scene. They beat SK to make it in. Uh, their coach is Young Buck, who I've heard is, uh, wasn't a very good top laner last year in Copenhagen Walls, but I heard he's got good game knowledge. So that's like, I mean, that's one positive thing, right? I mean, you want your coach to know the game, at least he doesn't have to be a good player. Their top lane is Kiki's because Smitty J left for Dignitas NA. Kiki's was a was a jungler. He did want to try out different roles, I know. I don't know how he's going to be the top laner. I'm not a huge fan of that role swap. They picked up Trick in the jungle. I've heard some things that he might be a potential. Uh, Perks is a mid laner. I heard he's a good mid laner. I heard he can become uh, one of the new top EU mid laners that he used kind of known for. They're known for good mid laners, I'll admit that, and they are good at it. Uh, they also have Emperor, the former AD from TDK, who I've heard is potential, even though I heard, I've heard that he did either really good in uh, NA, and also that he didn't really do that well, but, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and I, they got hybrid as support, so I don't know much about the team size. Kiki, who's a, Kiki's, who's a pretty good jungler. I mean, he's solid, nothing special, but... So... So, and Emperor, I mean, he played okay in that little, like, two weeks he was there. But, I don't know why, but I really thought Tom didn't run a mana. I don't know why, but I have the wrong mastery setup now, I guess. But, uh, I think the team has potential. I think that I have them projected to take sixth. I still think they're better than some other teams, but I could also see them falling below like Unicorns of Love just because they're kind of newer, and you look at it, you got Kiki's in a new lane, so I don't know how that's going to work necessarily. I must sample this So, yeah, that's why I, I have them as. I think that uh, they got potential. We'll see how Young Buck goes with them. If he can uh, get them playing to their potential. They're a new team, and I mean, I don't know, they might be one of those one and done teams, but I think that there's some really bad EU teams this year, so they got a chance, too. Uh, Splice is the next team up there, formerly Dignitas EU. Now, I have them being fifth. I could see them even doing more. I think they got a high potential team. I really do. Their uh, coaches are Yamato, Cannon, and Chris from CLG. And Yamato, I think, is a little bit overrated, two point. I think he's hyped up because he's a like personality, but I do think he has some sense of game knowledge. I mean, it's not like Rokat did super well last year either. I mean, he didn't like. He didn't seem to take advantage of some of the players' strengths. But in top lane, they or er, Chris, I think, is a good coach though too. I mean, he did well on a uh, CLG, so I think. He's got potential to be good, but uh, their top laner is Wonderware, Jungle Trashy, mid is Senkux, ADC Kobe, and Support Nisbeth. And I've really heard Senkux could potentially be one of the next, like the Fabebin type, where it comes out of nowhere and really does really well. But we'll see. I think the team will arrive them taking fifth. I, I, I see them as being a, an underrated team that flies under the radar and ends up doing really well. Maybe even better. Oh, God. I like Tom Top. I really do. I really do. So.
I think they're gonna be a good team. So, I mean, I really can't really tell much about him. Trash, he played in, uh, he played on, uh, not TDK, but he played on, uh, what's that one? The other one this year. I can't think of who it is right now. The X casing, but, I mean, they didn't do terrible, but they weren't great, that's for sure. I mean, I should say, they, they didn't do good. They got relegated. But, it's... For the overall the team, I don't think the team did bad. I didn't really have high expectations for them going into a split. But I think that they're going to be a good team. They'll become the seed. They m I might be totally wrong, but... Oh, I was late there. I was looking at something. But I might be totally wrong, but I think that... I'm really excited. They're one of my kind of under later teams I want to watch. Uh, then my last team here that I'm going to do quick. Hopefully this video ends fast. I'll kind of do some Tom talk a lot in it. But his Elements. Uh, Elements was a team I rooted for at the beginning of last year, and it Worlds in 20 or season four because I like Shook a ton. But now he's not on there, so why do I even watch him? But their coach, I'm not sure who their coach is, but they got Steve Top, former Rollcat top laner, Gilius Jungle, former Unicorns of Love jungler. They got a. Uh, Their uh, mid is Ika. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But they got Mr. Allah's ADC and support is Spaddle, formerly Promise Q. I think he changed his name for a reason. Because it was known as Pro Miss Q. But I'll go into Team Steve, I think, at Raw Cat. He actually, uh, he's the famous Maokai double kill, if I'm correct. But he, uh, I think he's actually a solid top laner. I mean, he didn't do bad on Rocket last year, but it's not like he stood out a ton. I think he held his own, so I mean, it's a solid player for them to get. They're, you're not going to really get much better than that, I don't think, unless you get like a solo Q talent, maybe. I don't know how much is out there. Gilius has potential, but it's, I don't think he'll do. I mean, this team, you can't really show it. No one's really going to be able to show what they can do on this team. It's all guys who have potential, but... It's not like a unicorn is a lover. I think that these guys have at least shown some. None of these guys have really shown that they can do good. Mr. Allos was on two teams, and people have hyped him up, but he really hasn't done much. He's kind of a consistent ADC, I would say, not a carry. They'll just get the job done, which isn't necessarily what they need here, I guess. Spaddle. I mean, he didn't do well in his first one of Elements, so what's gonna, how do you know he's going to do good on the second one? Okay, I'm gonna back up. So, I mean, there's nothing to prove that they'll do good again. And Ika is their mid on. I don't know if that's how to pronounce, but really, I don't know uh, how he's gonna do. It's a shame they lost to Rogan. He's a mean as a player. He uh, kind of was their calling. It's a shame that they went from potential super EU team to what they are now, which is really like nothing to be honest. But, I mean, they really didn't. They didn't get a team that fit well. I think Wicked and Shook like being aggressive, Frog and like farming up along with Tabs also. And when they had Reckless too, Reckless wasn't super aggressive either. So the team just didn't fit well together, which sucks. Let us eat voraciously and overindulge. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know, I got elements taking, I would say, uh, I think I got them going last, I think. I believe I have Royal Cat roided higher, but I could all chain. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's, the two bottom teams in EU aren't as bad as, like, what Tip is, but they're kind of the same boat. Elements was trying to sell, and Royal Cat just kind of got screwed over that all the players and all the sports that left 
at the last second. They're kind of a fan favorite though, so it can also suck, but at least they'll maybe get it together and keep it in there, or keep themselves in the EU. So I do kind of root for them though, after just how the whole situation went down. How do you like that? I don't know if Ash is coming top for a reason or not. Baby Tom will be so that's how I got them rated. Uh, no big deal. I mean, I didn't know a bunch about the teams, and it's not like uh, a huge range. I mean, I do like Spice, I, I want to see them so I can talk about them more because I do think that they got potential to be good. And G2, I mean, G2 could maybe send them, but it's not like they really crushed SK in the promotion tournament. I wouldn't say, I mean, I don't think they really crushed them, but I mean, I guess they won somewhat convincingly, but I don't know. I just don't know if it would. So, ooh, let's see how low they're here. So, I'll talk about Tom here. Tom's kind of a good thing he's an OP champ. I really like him actually. My support's not as good as top lane. I do well with him. He, uh, he, he's really well tanky, I think. But, I don't know. I was hoping this we'd get done. I should have took a tower pusher so we could get done nice and fast, but. I guess not. I'm gonna just split push and end it quick. This was supposed to be a quick video, and maybe I'll make another quick one right after about another team or two. I'm gonna report Jax. What a jerk. Don't even give me the assist. Show them the whole game now. Nothing escapes hunger. I refuse to succumb to culinary degradation. We'll see what we do here. Troll some jacks. And Tom's got good troll potential. I like that. I like Bard too. I think Bard is fun. Spin the wrong way. One spin the mats. Turret and sever. Unstoppable. 
I would probably like kill him. I mean, I thought, I thought you get the kill, that's why I went there. Focus on this one. Make some gameplay, I think, pretty soon. Yeah, I'll do a lot of work today, too, so. Hopefully, get this done nice and quick. Baby, look at the old plays. Tom OP. Tom OP. Give me some of this. Give me some of that. Give me some boots. Let's get that. Try, I try putting him in action to Vagar's uh, little whatever that God Strike thing is. See, it's so OP, I'm building tank and I can just delete people. Alright, I was hoping I could beat Jack, so. We'll dance. We're gonna want. I like his dance, like, can you play music? Ugh. Run! I almost threw her in there. I almost did. Kill Jack so bad. Come here, Jax. <laughs> Can't kill him. He's too mobile. We got snipe. I picked up the wrong guy. Snipe.
Ten and zero, man. Jax is twenty-two and three. Who dies in this game? Too easy. Now I'm gonna get some dead mass blow. Jack sucks. Ten, O oh, and ten. Nothing Pretty even just probably have four kills. I'm only involving twenty of them. No, you jerks. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That was really funny, actually. Oh, that was fun to watch. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.